You're watching Capital Connection from the Illinois State Capitol. We extended invitations to the offices of Congressman Adam Kinzinger and Rodney Davis to respond to President Biden's infrastructure speech in Illinois this week. Unfortunately, they could not make it work. Perhaps we will get them in the near future. Also, Illinois' newest Republican member of Congress, Mary Miller, hosting a fundraiser in her home district in Effingham earlier this week on Thursday night. Her district, spanning the largest territory across much of rural and southern central Illinois, it's also the district home to the highest rates of unemployment. We went to that fundraiser to hear what answers she might have for an economic recovery downstate. We're saddling them with this outrageous debt. I never used to use that word outrageous. I, I use it all the time now. The day after President Biden pitched his plan to middle class workers, Congresswoman Mary Miller told a crowd of roughly 500 supporters they should fear the Biden agenda. The Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, Biden and his administration, they have a plot to change our country. They are out to abolish faith, family, freedom, economic opportunities, and private property ownership. While Biden pitched his plan as a way to kickstart the economy, Miller warned government handouts would stall it instead. This un enhanced unemployment that's making it hard for all of us to get people to work. Miller's fundraising event focused first and foremost on helping her keep her job in Congress. Help her get reelected because you know redistricting is going to change your state. It is. It's going to change your state. It's going to change your districts. She needs your help. We aren't the popular girls in Washington. She visited Effingham Thursday to bolster Miller's campaign account before she could face a potential primary challenge with another incumbent Republican next year. Green offering advice on how to influence members of Congress. You also control them with your money. You see, none of us can get reelected without your donations. Donate directly to the people who are doing the job that you're proud of, like your great congresswoman, Mary Miller. So far, Green has managed to outraise nearly everyone else in Congress. Her template? Shock the public with outrageous comments and find a way to stay in the headlines. At a rally with Florida Congressman Matt Gates in May. And in Effingham Thursday. I call them the Jihad Squad. Green comparing her political opponents to Nazis or terrorists. Language she also used to stoke fears about the vaccine. In May, tweeting vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. People were told to wear a gold star and they were definitely treated like second class citizens so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany. This is one of a frequent outbursts that are absolutely outrageous and reprehensible. Then after facing backlash from leaders in her own party. I think we should kick her out of the conference, prevent her from you know, coming to conference meetings, benefiting from conference materials. Green apologized. The horrors of the Holocaust are something that some people don't even believe happened and some people deny, but there is no comparison to the Holocaust. And there are words that I have said and remarks that I've made that I know are offensive. And for that, I want to apologize. Only later to double down, comparing public health workers or vaccine education volunteers to Nazi era brown shirts or members of Antifa. Do you hear about the guys that are coming knocking on your door and tell you to take a COVID-19 vaccine? <laughs> Let me tell you what, We Will Not Comply Act gives you permission to do. It gives you permission to tell Biden's little posse that's going to show up at your door, you know, that, it, that intimidate you. They probably, they probably work for Antifa by night, and then they come and intimidate you to take the vaccine by day. Well, you get to tell them to get the hell off of your lawn.
Green and Miller signed their names to legislation that would allow unvaccinated people to sue their employers, universities, or airlines if they would impose a mandatory vaccine policy. All three available vaccines are cleared for emergency authorization use with the FDA, and President Trump, who Green and Miller praise effusively, took credit for their speedy approval. One of the men in the audience enjoyed the political act. I believe in uh, Trump, Green, Miller. But disagreed with Green's comments about the vaccine. I had polio at four years old. Couldn't walk, crawled. Doctor used to come, give me 15 to 20 shots at a time. Polio is not that common anymore, is it? No, no, it's almost completely gone worldwide. Why is that? They've really fought it with uh, shots. What do you think about vaccines in general? I think they're great. Great. What would you tell your neighbors who have hesitation about vaccines? Get them. Get them. I'm a firm believer in that. We'll be back in just a moment.